What's going on? My name is Josh here with Federal Brace and today we're going to be installing a Liberty flat plate for a hidden countertop application. Let's get started. So when you're installing your bracket, you want to make sure that uh, you're, marking, you're marking the width of the bracket as well as the thickness of the bracket. This is a quarter inch bracket, but we have different sizes, so make sure you check uh, how thick your Liberty flat plate is before installing. Um, so I, I went ahead and marked the width of the Liberty flat plate. I'm going to go ahead and mark the depth of the, of the flat plate so that the rest of the bracket is flush with the countertop. Mark it at a quarter inch. Got your router, so I'm going to go ahead and start routing. What I'm doing here is one, I'm just making sure that it's level. I'm also, so like I said before, we have four and one eighth inch of space on this bracket for the stud. So I just want to make sure that based on my application that I've got eight inches of overhang or just about. Um, keep in mind, you don't want any more of four inches of unsupported weight. So from the end of the bracket to the end of the countertop, you don't want any more than four inches. I'm going to go ahead and start drilling my pilot holes. Now that we have the holes drilled for the Liberty plate, I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, countersunk screws. This is uh, two and a half inch by quarter inch fastener. So you get your pilot holes, you just go ahead and... All right, so we have our Liberty plate installed from here. I'm just gonna wanna get uh, some caulk, put it along the top and you should be good to go. A couple of the common installation applications for the Liberty plate would be, one, if you have a cabinet or kitchen island and you have a little bit over 10 inches of unsupported um, countertop, so you're gonna to wanna to put a Liberty plate in for that application. And you don't want any more than four inches of unsupported countertop, as I mentioned before. Um, and that is also good to, it's also good to space it out every 18 inches. That's the Liberty flat plate for you. As you can see, we have the Liberty countertop bracket installed. I'm just gonna go over one of our more popular uh, hidden brackets. This is the Lincoln, and it's pretty simple. It's for a different application where you may not be able to uh, router into your two by four or whatever framing that you have. And so this bracket is designed to rest over top of your framing whether it be a knee wall or a two by four. This Lincoln is in a stainless and that's great for outdoor applications. It's non-corrosive. We also have it in a flat black powder coat. Really simple to install. All you really need to do is make sure it's centered on uh, the two by four wherever you're installing it. Make sure it's in the correct position. You're gonna wanna mark your holes. Use your drill bench. It's also good practice if you if you have another hand, it'd be good to have someone hold the bracket in place while you mark the holes, and then also drill, just so that just so that your holes are on center. Um, I did a pretty good job, but there's room for error. So that's it as it goes for installing. Put some caulk or silicone over top, lay your countertop over top of that, and it'll lock into place. Go ahead and just put a bead of silicone over the top. There you have it. So we've already installed our Liberty flat plate. We've also installed our Lincoln flat plate. This bracket is uh, our Freedom, and it's used for applications where Really, it's just user preference, but if you don't want to put a whole bunch of framing on the inside of your cabinet, uh, you can just put a one by four here instead of that two by four along the top. 
And so this is a common application. A lot of contractors love to use it. It's our most commonly sold bracket. So one of the easiest application and installations. So let's get started. So you have your cabinet and it doesn't have any framing on the inside. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a one by four or a small board so that you can beef up the inside of your cabinet. Um, and this is often, uh, oftentimes like for European style cabinets, you don't wanna do a whole lot of framing. Um, so this is a good solution for that. I'm gonna go ahead and tie this um, wood piece in. You wanna kind of go along the center so you don't get any splitting of the wood. Should be good just to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with a few more wood screws and you should be go, good to go with the framing. Next step that you're gonna to wanna to uh, do is make sure you measure the size or the width of the bracket. Mark the locations of the width of the bracket along the top side of the framing as well as the outside of the cabinetry. And you're also going to want to measure the depth or the width of the uh, material. The freedoms come in different um, thicknesses. The smaller freedoms are um, quarter inch. Basically, all you really need to do from here is just get a level, make sure that it is level. Um, you may want to put a couple of pilot holes into the framing and then uh, tie in your freedom bracket. Right on the dot, right on the button. So from here, just go ahead and mark your drill holes. With the, with the larger and the smaller uh, size freedoms, again, we, we have this bracket uh, from eight inches all the way up to 20 inches. So uh, you wanna make sure that you are taking into account how many uh, hole, holes there are. For the larger brackets, you have four holes. Um, therefore, you're gonna require a couple more fasteners. I marked the holes, I'm good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and drill some pilot holes and then um, we're gonna get those fasteners. So these are straight holes that you have on the back of the or that you have on the Freedom. They are not countersunk because they're not designed to be flush with the countertop. So you can go ahead and just drill these right into the back of the, um, the framing, just like that. Take your level, double check everything looks good. Should be good to go. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe and turn on your notifications. For more product information and made in the United States innovation, go ahead and visit us at federalbrace.com and we'll see you next time.